fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Jedi Pilot Nubs from the Star Wars Young Jedi Adventures line from Hasbro. So this is a new show that's out. I have not seen the show yet. I'm probably going to check it out at some point. I assume it's on Disney Plus so I'll hopefully be able to watch it there. But I just thought these looked really neat. I really like the look of the vehicles. I kind of wanted to check one out and see if it's compatible with some other figures that I might have. And I decided to pick this guy because he is like a blue sentient teddy bear. Kind of looks like Bebo from uh, Legends of Tomorrow if anyone watched that show. So I just thought he would look fun. Plus blue is my favorite color. So just decided to go with this one. Uh, packaging, some fun artwork here on the front. And then you get kind of a little picture over here of what's actually included. Uh, nothing really going on on the top or the bottom. Over here on this side, you get kind of a cool group shot for the show. And then over here on this side, you have a one-to-one -one scale nubs. Over here on the back, again, just kind of showing you a little bit about how the toy works. Looks like it's going to be almost a foot long from wing tip to wing tip, so that's kind of cool. And then uh, this dude over here is also available who I am not super familiar with because I haven't seen the show yet. So in any case, I just wanted to give one of these a look-see, see how it turns out, see how it is. If I like it, maybe I'll get some more. So I'm going to go ahead, get everything out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. All right, so here we go. Uh, I was surprised to learn that there was no assembly required. The ship comes completely put together in the box, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if this ship has a name, like this style of ship or this class of ship. It might just be something they made up for the show and didn't really think about naming it. Um, but it's a cool looking ship. I like the design. I like the color scheme. These wings are kind of a softer rubbery plastic. I'm assuming that's for safety reasons because they're so thin that if they were brittle they would probably snap. Uh, these are kind of softer as well, but you can click these back. And then you can hit this button here and they pop out. So I don't know if it's like it flips these in to land or something like that. But it sits pretty well. It's got these little pieces here on the back to stabilize it, which is kind of cool. And just overall, it's a pretty neat little ship. It doesn't really have much going on. The set, I believe, was like $27.99 or something like that, which seems a bit much. I feel like this could probably be $20.25, just kind of going off of what you get. I think this is big, and like I said, the, the middle section here definitely feels solid. But, I don't know, it just, that seems like quite a high price. But I, you know, maybe I'm out of touch with what this stuff costs to make. I'm not in the industry, so I can't say. I'm just saying what it feels like in hand. But it's a pretty cool looking ship. I like it quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, there's not much else to do with it, really. It doesn't fire any missiles or anything. It's just the wings popping out. But it's kind of neat. Uh, we will move on to Nubs. It's actually a pretty cool little figure. Uh, nicely painted. I think the detail on the face looks great. The eyes look good. The little kind of, you know, the way the gradient kind of starts from the nose and works its way out. The mouth, the nose, all really nicely painted. All of the kind of texture for his fur I think is pretty cool. He's got his helmet on uh, that is not removable, so that's just on there. The head can swivel from side to side. You have a hinge and a rotation in the shoulder. You have a wrist swivel. You have a waist swivel, uh, because, you know, his lower body is so short and squat that the legs do not move at all. And he's got two little peg holes there in the bottom of the feet. And then he comes with this lightsaber, which looks pretty good. And just clips into his hand pretty easily. But yeah, overall, I think he's cool. I like the design. I think they did a nice job painting the figure. He definitely feels very solid, especially the head. Is a very solid, heavy piece. Uh, but yeah, he looks pretty good. Let's do a comparison with a Mission Fleet figure. Uh, so you can see that they're about the same size. Now, I would say that's because he is a shorter character. A lot of the other human characters are taller. Um, but you can see, obviously, they're not anywhere near in scale with each other because, you know, this is a much more compact, slender figure, and this guy is absolutely massive. I would say they're probably more in scale with 4-inch figures. Um, here's a Batman from Spin Master's line. I think this is about the relationship in terms of size, but they also have kind of a super deformed thing going on with their heads. Even the human characters have kind of larger heads. It's just the art style they chose, and it's neat. Uh, but I don't think it's going to look well, uh, like a display, look well. It's not going to look good. It's not going to mesh well, is what I was trying to say, in a display with other 4-inch figures, because I think the style is kind of all its own, 
And so you can see here him kind of teamed up with Batman. Doesn't really work. Uh, but it is a cool little figure. I do like it quite a bit. I think the lightsaber works well. And he's just kind of a cool little fuzzy teddy bear guy. And I think it's very nicely done. Like I said, especially the paint on the face, I think, really, really works. And really looks sharp. So you can just go ahead and drop him in here. Uh, I'll take the lightsaber out of his hand. And we will tuck the hands in here. And then he just sits in here. He doesn't peg in. He doesn't strap in. He just kind of hangs out. Uh, but he fits well. You know, it looks, you know, like how it's supposed to. Uh, obviously, you know, he will move around in there because it doesn't peg in or anything like that. I think with the speeder bikes that they also have, he's meant to peg into those. Uh, but a lot of the other characters have moving legs. He just doesn't because of his design and his squat nature. But yeah, he looks cool flying around in here. I think that's kind of fun. I think he looks cool. I wish there was kind of a compartment or somewhere to put the lightsaber. I mean, I guess technically you can just kind of toss it in here with him. But it would have been fun if, you know, in the back here or somewhere there was like a compartment that opened up that you could store stuff in. I think that'd be neat. But overall, I mean, the figure is cool. The wings flip out, which is fun. I, I like the design of the ship. The price seems a little high, in my opinion, but I do think this looks pretty cool. Now, the main reason I was drawn to the ship is because I thought it might actually work well with other 4-inch figures, and it kind of does. So if we take Batman that we brought in earlier, uh, he kind of fits in here pretty well. And so you can put other 4-inch figures in here. And honestly, I don't even think they look that out of place. I think they actually kind of fit well. He might look a little tiny in here, but honestly, if you kind of look at the seat in the background here, and then you just kind of have the four-inch figure just kind of hanging out in here, it kind of works well, honestly. I don't think it's that big a deal. I don't think they look too small in the area. Um, so it kind of works. I think this could be fun for maybe even just some of your, like, vintage collection or retro collection Star Wars figures or really any other kind of four-inch figures. I mean, even, like, uh, core class Transformers I can kind of get in here. I have to move. He's got this crotch plate that never wants to move out of the way. But if he can bring this up, uh, he can actually kind of fit in here pretty well. And I kind of like the look of him just flying around in here. I think that's kind of fun. So I think the ships work well. Obviously, they work the best for the figures that they come with. But I think they kind of work well and look good with other 4-inch figures. So if you're just looking for kind of a fun Star Wars vehicle, maybe to supplement... Uh, some of your like vintage collection or retro collection figures. I think this could definitely work. But again, the uh, the Mission Fleet stuff is absolutely not going to work. So at the end of the day, I think it's a fun set. I really do like the look of the ship. I think it's a fun design. I really do like the little nubs figure. I think it looks great. Paint applications, especially on the face, are really well done. And it's just a good, solid figure. Nice articulation for the size. And again, it feels hefty. It feels solid. I think it's a really good figure. I like the little lightsaber accessory that he comes with. I think that's pretty well done. I, the only thing for me is that I feel like the price is a little high. I feel like 20 would be an amazing price for this. I could maybe see 25 $27.99 is pushing it to me. I think that's definitely on the upper bound of what this should be. The ship itself doesn't do a ton. It does have the ability to kind of fold the wings back and then have them flip out, which I admit is kind of cool. I do like that feature, but maybe like a firing missile or some kind of projectile, something like that might have been fun as well. I think he fits in there very well. He looks cool flying around in that. So overall, it's a simplistic design, but I think it's fun. I just think it's a little pricey. Maybe wait for a sale, something like that. If you could get these on clearance for like 20 bucks, I think all day that would be a fantastic price. So, or maybe just wait for a sale in general, something like that. But yeah, it's a fun little set. It just doesn't do a ton, but I think for what it is, I like a lot. Um, wish it did a little bit more or was a little bit cheaper. Again, if it had more features, like a, like a firing projectile, I could substantiate the higher price. Because it doesn't do a ton, I wish it was a little bit cheaper, so it's kind of a trade-off. But for what you get, I think it's pretty fun. Maybe just wait for a sale. And it does kind of work with other 4-inch figures as well, so that's kind of fun. You could definitely supplement some of your other displays or collections. I just think it's a cool vehicle in general. I just kind of overall really like the design of it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.